trust your first impression? Kids. Kids? Mm -hmm. Tell me about these kids. How are they dressed? They're dressed in old clothes. Old clothes. Mm -hmm. Describe these clothes. Like pilgrims. Mm -hmm. Like pilgrims. They're just plain, having fun. Mm -hmm. Happy to be here. Where are they playing? They're playing by their house. Like a little house. Mm -hmm. Like stone, like a little stone house. How many kids do you see? I see two. Mm -hmm. Are they male or female? I see a little boy and a little girl. Mm -hmm. What are they playing? They're just playing chase. Mm -hmm. Look around you. Tell me what else do you see there besides uh, I see like a little farm. Like they just got there. Like they came from another place. Like, like, like Columbus type of deal. Like they just got to this land mm -hmm. and they're putting up all their stuff and they're building their little house and getting everything and the kids are excited to mm -hmm. have a place to run to. Who else is there besides the kids? The mom. The mom. Mom's inside mm -hmm. cleaning and dad's outside getting the fields ready. And as you watch these, the scenery, tell me if you feel that you have a body there. I do. Mm -hmm. Look down and see if you can see your feet. Yes. Mm -hmm. You male or female? Little girl. A little girl. Tell me more. I'm happy. I'm happy. I saw my family's there. Mm -hmm. And we just so pretty. It's just so much space. Tell me about yourself. How old do you feel there? Like eight. Mm -hmm. What do they call you? I want to say Dottie. Mm -hmm. Is that the name that resonates with you? I call you Dottie? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Dottie, tell me about where you're living. How long have you been there? Just a month. Mm -hmm. Where did you come from? England. And where is it that you are right now? In America. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What brought you here? It's a better place to stay. For my parents, mm -hmm. for us. So take me through your day, Dottie. What do you do there? We play, my mom cooks, <coughs> and we help my dad. We help him with the fields. Mm -hmm. There's people coming to visit all the time. Our neighbors are nice. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this place. It's right by the creek, so we can go swimming when it's nice outside. Mom lets us. And we all sing together at night. What do you sing? Oh, we sing all kinds of songs. What's your favorite? We like to sing Patty Cake, mm -hmm. Ring Around the Roses, Talk Which? About Jesus. Do you read the Bible? Yes, my dad reads the Bible every night to us. Mm -hmm. I like to sit on my dad's lap. He's so strong. Mm. I love my dad, my mom, and my brother. Very good. So Dottie, we're going to close that scene now and go to another scene in that lifetime when something important is happening. Let's move forward. Something important has just happened. My dad's gone. What happened to your dad? He got sick. He died. How old are you, Dottie? Twelve. He 
you didn't have to go. The house is gloomy and sad. My mom's so sad. And you're sad too. Yes. We were happy. It's just so sad here. What do you do now with your dad without your dad? I don't know what to do. Who's going to be strong for me? My brother is just so far away and he don't talk anymore. Where is your where is your brother? In his room. Mm -hmm. Is he young, younger than you or older? He's older. Mm -hmm. He's just upset. I don't have anyone to talk to. My mom is so sad and crying. Why do he have to go? Now let's see what happens now. Take me to another time in that lifetime to see what happens. There's a boy that likes me. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm 22. Mm -hmm. He wants to marry me. He's so nice. What's his name? Jesse. He says I'm pretty and I remind him of his mom. Mm -hmm. That's weird. <laughs> but he makes me laugh. Do you like Jesse? Yes. He's strong too. Mm -hmm. And he has a good job. What does he do? He's a banker. He's a little older. Mm -hmm. He's 30. But he's so handsome. And he has pretty blue eyes. Mm -hmm. So what happens to you, Dottie? I get married. I'm getting married. Tell me about your wedding. What's it like? Oh, it's so much fun. Everybody's dancing and having fun. Mm -hmm. There's so many people and my mom's so happy. I see her smiling again. And my brother's happy. He's married now with three kids. Mm -hmm. So much. It's, I feel like my dad's there too. He's there. I know he is. Mm -hmm. How do you feel your dad there? I can feel his spirit. Mm -hmm. He's just hugging me and telling me that he loves me. I know he does. And he's telling me I'm making the right choice. He sent me this man. It is meant to be. I'm going to be happy. And I just need to have a happy life and stop thinking about the past. Mm -hmm. Is that what your dad tells you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just be happy. Do you hear your dad? I do. Do you have abilities to hear your dad? Yes. He talks to me all the time. Mm -hmm. What does he tell you? He tells me he wants me to be happy. Tells me to stop crying and just be he's proud and he just wants me just to go on and just live for today. Mm -hmm. Stop worrying so much. Everything's gonna be okay. You're strong. You have to be happy. You have to just live for the moment. Stop worrying about so much about the past. You gotta let that go. They're great memories, but you're right now, right here. Mm -hmm. The future, we don't know. So tell me what happens now after you're married. Go to another significant time. I have a little boy. His name's Jacob. Mm -hmm. He's so cute. Oh, he makes me so happy. But my husband's mad because I don't give him attention. Mm -hmm. He says I always wants to be with the baby. But the baby needs me. He makes me feel close to my dad. The baby just makes me feel like somebody actually needs me. Mm -hmm. My husband's old enough. 
He can take care of himself, but this little boy is dependent on me. So we're arguing. I don't like it. Why is he just being so mean? What does he do? He just yells at me. And tells me I'm just not the woman he thought I he married. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Sad. Just like like bad, like a little piece of nothing. Mm -hmm. Like why? You were so nice to me when we got married, now you're mean. Why is this happening? And my little boy makes me so happy. And I like to play with him outside and mm -hmm. just see him smiling and just putting his arms out to me to carry him. It just makes me happy. That love is so unconditional. It's just this deep love I feel for that little boy. Nothing like I feel for my husband. That I love too. But this little boy is so much. Now I know what my father felt. I feel it for my son. It just makes me happy. Mm -hmm. He's funny. And just loves me and hugs me when my husband's mad, when daddy's mean. He tells me, it's okay, mommy. It's okay. I'm here. I'll take care of you. Okay. He tells me my dad's looking out for me. Mm -hmm. Does he see your dad? He yeah. said he sees him all the time. Mm, what does he tell him? He tells me, Grandpa's here. I have a picture of my dad. And he sees it and he's like, this is the man that comes and sees you at night, Mommy, when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. He's taking care of you, Mommy. Well, what is your son's name? Jacob. Mm -hmm. Tells me that God sent him to be with me. Mm -hmm. He saw my dad in heaven. He said he was going to send him to me because I needed that gift. It's a beautiful gift, isn't it? Oh, he's so wonderful. It's just so nice to see him because he's so pretty and he just loves me so much. So let's leave that scene now. Let's go to another appropriate scene. Something's happening. My husband left me. He said he doesn't love me. I feel abandoned again. Mm -hmm. He left with another woman. It's okay. I'm going to go on. I'm just going to be happy by myself. I have to make me happy. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? 45. Mm -hmm. I'm still young. Look around you. How are you dressed there? Like the Victorian. I have a long purple dress with a little umbrella. Mm -hmm. Little hat. God, this dress is heavy. Mm -hmm. What year is it for you then? 1845. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this place. Where are you? It looks like New York. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of buildings all over. It's kind of cold. But it's like the spring. People are walking around with pastel colors. Everybody's in a rush. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? I'm going to the laundry. Why am I going to the laundry? I need to get some more clothes. I love clothes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you do there to earn your living without your husband now. I own a little store. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that store. I sell pretty hats and dresses and shoes. Mm -hmm. 
I love talking to all the people. I love earning my own money. I have no one that depends, that I don't have to depend on. It's just nice to be out there. I want to move, though. Where would you like to go? I want to go where the ocean's at. I want to see the ocean. I like the water. I don't like to swim in it, but I like to see it. brings peace but I also like the mountains I'm just all over I want to go everywhere I want to travel mm -hmm. what do they call you in that place Allison Allison so Allison you live in New York yes mm -hmm. tell me about your your family Allison I have four brothers no sisters how old are you 34. Mm -hmm. So you've made a good name for yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's nice here. You can make a living. There's a lot of people here. Come and go, and everybody wants to buy all these new dresses. I love to have new stuff in my store. Where do you get this stuff from? Oh, I order it from England. Mm -hmm. And they bring it into ships. Do you have any children, Allison? No. Just not ready for children. Mm -hmm. I just wanted my career. Mm -hmm. Is that where your husband left? Yes. It's okay. There's other men that I see. But I don't want all of them. You know, I just want to just date them. But I don't want to get married. Mm -hmm. I enjoy just my freedom. How does society think about that when they see that? They don't like it. But yeah. I don't care. Do you stand out? I do. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I've always been, you know what, I am who I am. You like me or you don't. Very good, Allison. Let's close that scene. Let's move ahead to another day in that same lifetime. Let's see what happens. People are being mean. How old are you there? What do you want? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What do you mean by being mean? They're calling me names because I, 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 I was dating a married man. I didn't know he was married. Mm -hmm. As soon as I found out, I told him no more. But they're being mean. They're blaming me and not him. What are they blaming you for? That I work the home. I'm a homeworker. I'm not a homeworker. How does that affect your business? Nobody wants to come in anymore. I'm losing money. I don't know what I'm going to do. I should have been careful. I should have like looked around. Are you in love with this man? I am. He's married and I don't want to do that. That would be too painful. I tell him to go back to his wife. Mm -hmm. He said he loved me. I don't think he does. Do you feel used? Very. So what happens next? I'm moving. Where are you going to? I'm going to California. They say it's nice over there, the weather. There's businesses and it's more liberal. Mm -hmm. I need to go where people don't be judging. I shouldn't care, but now I can't even have a business here. So let's go on this journey and tell me what happens when you get there. Oh, it's pretty. That water is so blue. There's stores right next to the shoreline, too. I could open up a store here. Mm -hmm. People are friendly, too friendlier than New York. I like it here. I'll be here for a little bit. I don't want to get to know anybody, though. Why is that? Because I don't want to get attached to anyone. Then I start feeling used. Mm-hmm.
or I care too much about them and then they do something to me that hurts me. I just want to be by myself. I want to love me and no one else. Very good. So Allison, let's close that scene. Let's move to another significant day in that lifetime when something important is happening. I'm happy. There's so many people that have accepted me. I have a lot of friends. They're all coming to my house. We're having so much fun. I feel alive again. Mm -hmm. It's so much funner now. I have so many friends. And they're just, they don't care. They don't care about my past. They think I'm funny. I'm crazy. How old are you there, Allison? 48. Tell me more. Oh, I live in this nice house. It's a big house. My business is going good. Selling lots of clothes. Mm -hmm. What do the clothes look like now? They look more like a flapper. Mm -hmm. Flapper dresses. Oh, it's so much style now. It's pretty. They're pretty. They're all dancing and those dresses are so risque, mm -hmm. but they're so fun to put on. And the way the men look at us, it's funny. They stare at us. And we just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene now. And let's move to another significant time. You're older now. Something is happening. I'm sitting in my chair, rocking chair outside my house. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? 84. Mm -hmm. Thinking about all my youth and how much I did. I'm happy. I traveled. I met lots of people. I have a house that I did by myself. I built this. I have friends that love me. A nice life, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Any regrets? No. No regrets. I'm happy. Good. So let's move now to the last day of your life. See yourself there. Oh. I feel tired. But I see the light. I'm okay. I can accept the death. Mm -hmm. Where are you? I'm in a bed in my home, mm -hmm. surrounded by some family. Who are they? I think she's my niece, mm -hmm. Deborah. She's so nice and she's just rubbing my hair tell me that I've always been there for her. She learned so much. She's a sweet girl. So take your last breath now. And as you do, transition out of that body. And tell me what happens to you as you leave that body behind. Where do you go? There's music, lights. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it feels like Chicago. Mm -hmm. Like almost like Vegas. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of like flamingo girls dancing. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the dancers. Tell me about that. Wow. I can kick so high. I can dance. I can dance to all the little songs that they're playing. What 
what year is it for you? 1938. Mm -hmm. Vegas just started. Mm -hmm. Are you in? Are you yeah, in I was in Chicago, but I'm going to Vegas because that's where all the lights are at. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love to be in the Broadway and just be in the in the, in the center of the stage. Everybody watching and just clapping. Mm -hmm. What do they call you there? Nora? Nora. Tell me more about yourself, Nora. How old are you? 26. It's so fun and it's just dancing. I want a husband too. This man from the stage keeps looking at me. Mm -hmm. He's so tall, dark, and handsome. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to him after I'm done. He'll tell me what happened. His name's Rick. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Rick. What happened? He's, he, he's a marketer. Mm -hmm. Tell me what a marketer is. He sells. Mm -hmm. He sells like real estate. He sells something. He's selling insurance. Oh, he's so new to us. How do you feel about him? He's kind of cold. Mm hmm handsome but there's something about him I cannot pinpoint but I just can't stop talking to him mm -hmm. in the back of my mind it's saying stop talking to him and just run away but I just can't I wanted to get to know him We'll fast forward a little bit and let's see what happened with Rick. Oh, he was abusive. I knew I should have ran. Yes. Did you marry him? Yes. Tell me what happened. He promised me that he would be nice, but he would just hit me. He didn't like me dancing. I had to quit. I had to quit my career that I wanted so bad. Tell me more about this man. He doesn't like any man looking at me. He thinks I'm looking at somebody and he hits me. I can't take it anymore. I can't take the hitting. It hurts. Where does he hit you? The back of my head hit me in my eye. I had to lie to people and tell them that I hit a door. Mm -hmm. I need to leave. I need to start packing my stuff and getting out. Where will you go? Back with my parents. It's going to be an embarrassment. I can't live with this man. My mom said that I can't leave him. Why is that? Because society what are they going to say? You picked him. Now you're stuck with him. So, Nora, let's go into the future and see what happens with him. I stay with him. I can't do that to my parents. It's such a horrible relationship. It's a relationship. It's abuse after abuse. Do you have any children? A three. Can't leave him. My kids, they love him. He's good to my kids. Mm -hmm. When my kids see me sad, I have to lie. Tell them I'm okay. Mommy's just sad for other things. We're not even intimate. I need to 
to find something that's good to me. But I can't. I can't. All right, close that scene now. Let's move forward. Let's move and see what happens. I left him. I didn't care anymore. I told the kids I couldn't take it. I told them everything that he did. How old are your children? 18, 24, 12. Mm -hmm. They're okay with it. They're like, Mom, we knew. You should have left alone a long time ago. I'm in my 60s. What are you going to do now? Just work. Get out of this place and just never see that man again. I'm just happy that my kids are okay with it. My mom's very upset at me. I said, why, how could you do this to the family? But I don't care. I'm not going to be with an abusive man. I'm happy. Fresh start. So tell me what happens now. I'm living in a little house. I used to living in such a small quarters, but I feel safe there. I can go to sleep and I'll have to worry what day out of this week am I going to get hit. My son that's 12, he's so happy in school. I'm working at a restaurant. What do you do there? I'm a waitress. Mm -hmm. I love talking to people. How does it feel to be working? Oh, I feel so good. I get my own money. People are paying attention to me. They say I'm still pretty. I'm in my 60s. What? There's no way. <laughs> I feel old, but I feel young. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Yes. Like I see wrinkles in my face, but they're still okay. I'm too hard on myself. So let's move forward and see what happens now. What happens with your life? Oh, the man that owns the restaurant. We're married now. Mm hmm. He is such a good man. He treats me so good. Nathan. Nathan is so nice. He loves me. His blonde hair and blue eyes and tall. He's proud to call me his wife. And he loves my children. He has no children. He's so close to my little one. He taught him how to play ball. I see my ex-husband and he's miserable. It makes me happy. But I'm happy. I was able to let him go. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Oh, yes. We're going to grow up together. Is there anything else from that that you can get from? No. It's just a happy life. Very good. So let's go to the last day. Move to the last day. Of your life. Tell me where you are. In the front porch. I thought Nathan was asleep. But he's gone. <laughs> We're 20 years. <laughs> he's gone. It's my rock. It's okay. I'll see him someday. We'll meet in another life. 
and miss him, but I'll be going soon. He said he was gonna go first. <laughs> It is to lose him. <laughs> he gave me so much love. <sighs> the love that I deserved. <sighs> I love you, Nathan. What decision do you make now? <sighs> Just be happy with my grandkids. just know that me and Nathan are going to meet someday. I know that in another life you'll be my husband again. Mm -hmm. And we'll be happy. All over again. So let's go to that day when you leave this, this body behind. Tell me where you are. The hospital. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? I have cancer. But I feel so peaceful. I'm in no pain. I see Nathan coming towards me. He's like, you can come. It's okay. I'm right here. He's holding my hand. I know my kids are sad. I see it. But they're okay. They're all grown. But how do you feel? I feel at peace. So take your last breath. And as you do, what thoughts are going through your mind? My kids will be okay. So as you transition out of that body, tell me what happens to your soul. Where do you go? Me and Nathan just go up to heaven. We go just traveling around. He shows me all the pretty places. We're like little teenagers. Mm -hmm. How do you look there now? I'm young again. I feel young and pretty again, skinny and everything is in place. <laughs> How about Nathan? How does he oh, look? He looks so handsome. He's so tall and has blue eyes that are just piercing. I love blue eyes. He just holds me in those strong arms. I feel so small compared to him. <sighs> He's so tall. Tells me that he was waiting for me. He was always watching me. So as you finish your journey with Nathan, I'd like you to go back to the moment where you met with your guides. Yes. Israel. Israel is your guide. Okay. Tell me about Israel. Israel is very powerful. Mm -hmm. He will fight for me. He will not let anything happen. He tells me he'll protect me. Mm -hmm. Ask Israel why you had to go through what you did in that lifetime, the abuse. Why didn't he protect you then? He said I didn't ask. Mm -hmm. He said that I just needed to learn to ask. Ask for help? Ask for help. Mm -hmm. So why didn't you ask? I was right there. Somebody know. Ask Israel why it is that 
you have to ask your guides for help. Why can't they just help you when you're in trouble? Because they, you have free will. And you make your own decisions. They can't interfere. You have to choose that. You have to say, I need help. Mm -hmm. It's always mean of him not to help me. But I understand. Is Israel your guide in every lifetime? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's he's strong, but he's very... I feel like he's a stubborn person. Tell me about that. Like he just doesn't budge. Like He wants me to ask him. Like You need to ask me. I'm not going to offer it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, if you see me hurting, why can't you just help me? Because it's not my job. It's you that has to make that decision. It's hard for me to understand, but I understand. So ask Israel, why is it that you chose to be with an abusive man? I needed to learn self-esteem. I needed to learn to love myself. Did you learn it? Yes. Yes. And it seems that you did this in several lifetimes. I did. You did it as Dottie. I know. As Allison. I just felt that I wasn't learning and I just felt that every man abandoned me. Mm -hmm. Why did you why did you choose that theme for your lifetimes? It seems that that lifetime has been theme after theme. Because I miss my dad and I felt like if they abused me at least I had some attention but then it got so much that I couldn't handle it. Mm -hmm. Did you lose your dad in all of the lifetimes? Yes. Why is that? I don't know. He just, I felt that they, he just abandoned me. Mm -hmm. Is it the same dad in each lifetime? Yes. What lesson is he trying to sh teach you? He's trying to teach me that I am strong. Mm -hmm. That he doesn't need to be there. That he's always there in spirit. And it's okay when you go with your gut. If your gut tells you no, then don't go with that man. He was telling me. Mm -hmm. But I thought I was young. And I thought that was a man. Even though I knew it wasn't when I got married. You knew it in your gut. It wasn't the right man. No. Only Nathan. Mm -hmm. The rest I didn't. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, I thought they were funny and handsome. And then it was just abuse after abuse. So let's talk with your guide and find out what it is that the uh, life of Alicia is all about. Let's go to that moment when you're choosing what you're going to learn as the embodiment of Alicia. What happens? Who do you meet with? Right now? Let's go to that time when you meet with your counsel. What I'm learning. Mm -hmm. What is Alicia supposed to be learning? Why did the soul choose this lifetime? Just to understand that you have it in you. You need to learn to stand. You never learned it. You didn't learn it in the past lives. That's why you came again and had to go through that abuse. Learn. You don't need a man. You need to go with your gut and marry the person that is good for you. Don't ever let a man touch you. You need to learn that. So the theme in this lifetime is all about that? Yes. She just doesn't want to listen. She don't want to listen that these men are not good for her. Mm -hmm. 
And she keeps choosing the same men over and over and over. Is it the same men? Yes. Mm -hmm. Same men keep coming back to her. And I'm trying to teach her, like, don't do it. Don't do it. But she doubts herself so much. And she doesn't ask you for help, does she? No. And I keep telling her, I'm right here. But she thinks that she can do it all on her own. Mm -hmm. She wants to be the strong person, but she needs people to protect her, and I'm here for her. So before you, she was launched into this body as a baby, what words did you tell her before she left? I told her, go with your gut. You need to learn to go with your gut. Learn to listen. But she always just thinks quickly and just wants to do what she wants and she don't listen she doesn't listen to herself and even though she knows it's wrong she'll still do it mm -hmm. so was she supposed to learn about relationships in this lifetime? yes mm -hmm. she needs to learn if not she's coming back and it's going to be worse. Mm -hmm. So in this lifetime, who were the players in her life that were in the players in the same, in the other life? Josh. Her husband, her current husband was in her past lifetime. Mm -hmm. He was mean to her. Mm -hmm. So was her first husband. He was the one that made her laugh. But man, did he hit her. Mm -hmm. Is she supposed to pay off some of that karma with him? Or learn? Yes. So before this life is over, what does she need to do with these two men to not repeat this? Forgive them. Let it go. Don't wish bad on them. Don't talk about them. Talk about the good things. Don't talk about all the negative. Stop talking about it. When she turns that around and starts talking positively about them, how will that change her life? She'll be happier. She feel like I don't even know why I let that get to me. And you know, she just she'll feel so a weight lifted off her shoulders. She'll feel free. She'll feel free from all the hurt, the abandonment that she felt. She's a good person. Mm -hmm. she's just so doubtful she second guesses everything and then she goes with her wrong intuitions mm -hmm. constantly and I tell her and I tell her but she don't listen go with your gut talking about her husband, does she have a contract with them throughout life, these lifetimes? Has she made a contract with them? She did. I told her not to. Mm -hmm. But she said she was going to do it until she learned her lesson. I think she did, though. I think this is the last one. Mm -hmm. This one really, really hurt her. Can we break the contract today? Yes. Would you allow me to speak with her conscious mind so that she can Yes. Do that. We'll get back to you. Yes. Thank you. So I'd like for you to see your first husband in front of you. And both of you have a contract that you've made out throughout all of your lifetimes to work this out. It's time to break the contract. Are you ready to break the contract? Yes. So I'd like for you to repeat after me. We tried. We really tried. We tried. We really tried. It's not working. It's not working. I want you to now 
break the contract. It's in pieces. It's in pieces. And you say, you go your way with love. You go your way with love. And I'll go my way. And I'll go my way. We don't need to be get together anymore. We don't need to be together anymore, ever. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to just blow that contract away and feel all of the pieces just going off, drifting off. Feel the load lifting off of you. Feel the connection broken. And as you breathe into it, feel that light, lightness in your body, in your soul, as you let it go. And now I'd like for you to see your second husband in front of you. Both of you have the contract that you've signed throughout lifetimes. And we'll do the same thing. We tried, we really tried. tried. We really tried. And it's not working. It's not working. Let's break that contract. Let's just break the contract. Tear it up. It's too hard. Mm -hmm. You go your way with love. I go your way with love. And I'll go mine. And I'll go mine. We don't need to be connected anymore. We don't need to be connected anymore. So take that contract that you've ripped up and just allow it to blow away. And as it does, feel the lightness in your body and soul as you disconnect from that contract. Now breaking the contract doesn't mean that you won't be in each other's lives because you have children involved. But we don't need to be connected in that way anymore. Uh -huh. No. So as you connect yourself with these men in the future, it'll be done with love in your heart without the need of the connection of all of these lifetimes. You won't have that burden of all of these lifetimes together. And as we break the contract, we go back in time and we see how it changes everything that has happened in the past. We see everything going backwards. Yes. And as it goes backwards, we see a different, different outcomes. Go back and you see how things have changed now. The lifetimes are more peaceful mm -hmm. and loving. Oh, yes. It changes everything. And as you look into the future, you see that there is no need for any more abuse. Yeah. It's been broken. Allow yourself to feel that peace and love inside of you. And as you breathe in those wonderful feelings, fill yourself with all of that love and peace and light that comes with love from the Creator, from the Source knowing that you are one with God. And allow me now to speak with your higher self. Yes. And now that we've done this beautiful exercise, tell me how that's affected her life. Oh, she's happy. She's going to be so happy. Mm -hmm. She won't feel all those worries. I feel that it's gonna happen again. She can like go and just live. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be so happy. It'll change her relationships on it. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's always so fearful. Mm -hmm. She's always doubting this person she's with now. Mm -hmm. She's always thinking, comparing him to them. And he's not like that. He's a good person. Has she lived with him in another lifetime? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was Nathan. Mm -hmm. That was her soulmate. So as she meets Nathan in this life, what is it that they have to do in this lifetime? Why have they been together now? They have to wait <coughs> to meet. Mm -hmm. Nathan now comes with children. Mm -hmm. This can be different. He didn't have children in that lifetime. No. But he wanted to experience children and not from her. Mm -hmm. He wanted to show her how he loved her children in the past lifetime. Now she can love his children in this lifetime. And they were the same amount, weren't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we can see it very clearly. It's happened. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she could see now why she's accepted them. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're good kids. They just want a mother. Mm -hmm. And she has it in her. She doubts herself. And now with all this weight lifted off of her, she can go back and love and just show the happy person that she is. Wonderful. Can you tell me a little bit about her intuition? She has it. Mm -hmm. She's just scared. Why is she so scared? She says she sees all sorts of entities. Yes. You know, what's that all about? Ever since she's known, she's always, they're there. Mm -hmm. She feels them. She just gets scared, so I don't want to show her too much. Why do they show up with, with devilish faces? Because what she fears. Mm -hmm. So she puts that mask on? Yeah, she puts it on. Mm -hmm. She calls them demons. Yes. Tell her what they really are. They're angels that have fallen from heaven. Mm -hmm. She knows. She knows herself. Mm -hmm. She read the Bible. Mm -hmm. And she knows that these angels, those demons that were thrown out, those angels are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Lucifer was a beautiful, beautiful angel. She needs to know that she can fight him. She has her guides. And why do they come after her? Is she that powerful? She is. Mm -hmm. She just doesn't know it. So what are they, why are they picking a fight with her? Because she can fight them off. Mm -hmm. She can fight them, but she doesn't know it. Mm -hmm. So they want to terrorize her. They want to make her fear. They want to make her scared. And for what purpose? Because they're afraid of her. Ah. So they're kind of bullies. Yes. They're they all gang up on her. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But if she wants to, she can fight them. Uh -huh. And she can help other people. Uh -huh. Teach them to fight them. That's what she's, That's why they're there. Uh -huh. Now, in all of the sessions that I've had, I know that these so-called angels that have fallen are just angels. They're right. all from the Creator. They're all full of light. Yes. And they're all looking for a way to get back home. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Are there any that are working with her today that we could help? Luke. Mm -hmm. And where is Luke today? Luke is sad. Mm -hmm. He wants to go back. Where is Luke? He's, he's just in a dark, dark place, like a hole, mm -hmm. like a cave, and he's just so sad. He messed up. Mm -hmm. He listened to the lies. Mm -hmm. She needs to help him. She needs to tell him it's okay. God is forgiving. Of course. So he where is, you. is Luke attached to her? Yes. Where is he attached to her? Her heart. Her heart. Would the light allow me to work with Luke today? Yes. All right. 
So I'm going to take my hand over her heart and bring that energy up and ask for Luke to express himself. Good afternoon, Luke. Hi. Luke, how can I help you today? I just want to go back. Mm -hmm. It was so nice up there and I messed up. How did you mess up, Luke? I listened. I listened to the lies. What lies? Did they the say? lies that they were saying that it was going to be beautiful down here mm -hmm. on Earth, that we we're all going to just have a party and everybody was going to be happy to see us and all these liars that I encountered. Mm -hmm. These are the these are the shadow shadow friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. and they're mean and they're bullies and they just like to pick on people. Mm -hmm and make them do bad stuff and I don't want to do that I don't want to make people do bad things how long have you been doing bad things to Alicia <sighs> since she was born mm -hmm. and what attracted you to her oh she was just a sweet girl mm -hmm. she was sweet and she just let me in in what why well after her dad died you know it was so easy just to get in mm -hmm. She was so alone. Mm -hmm. And I just told her that I would be there as a friend. Ah. You lied? Yes, I did. But I, I just wanted just to be her friend. And then I just wanted just to stay with her. Because it made me happy when she was sad. Because I'm sad. Of course. Like attracts like, doesn't yes. it? Yes. And I like to see her cry because I cry. Ah, okay. So you, misery likes company. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Did you do anything to affect her physically? Oh, yes. Tell me about it. Oh, I brought all those men towards her. Mm -hmm. I made sure that she met them. Mm -hmm. And there was others that she met. She didn't marry them, but they were mean to her. But I liked it. So a lot of abuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were a lot. And it was just fun to see, but now I'm tired of it. I just... I'm, I'm in a dark place. Luke, did you present yourself in any way physically to her? Oh, it's a beautiful angel. Mm -hmm. I'm beautiful. Did she see you as an angel? Or oh, yes. Did she yes. see you as a demon? She saw me as an angel. Ah. So beautiful. So you were lying? Yes, yes. I was lying again. Mm -hmm. Tell me more, Luke. Oh, she let me in. I've had her for so long. I've controlled her. Mm -hmm. In what way? And just making her not use her gut. Just telling her, nope, just use your heart. Mm -hmm. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. And I know it's not. And I know they're going to be mean to her. But it makes me happy to see her sad because I'm sad. And I'm miserable, so I want her to be miserable. I don't want her to work out this relationship. I want her to be miserable. Mm -hmm. I want her to leave this man too. So I can have her all to myself all over again. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with her when she's all by with you? Oh, I just make her cry. Mm -hmm. And make her sad. And then she gets angry. And she gets mad at her kids sometimes. That's not nice, Luke. I know. I feel bad about the kids. They don't have anything to do with it. No. She just yells. Mm -hmm. Luke, are there any more around her waiting to get in? There's four more. There's four more. Are they attached to her or just waiting? They're waiting. Mm -hmm. But I've been in here so long that she, she fights them off. Mm -hmm. She's fighting. But with me, because I had been in there, she couldn't. The other one, she's fighting. Okay. All right. So, Luke, are you ready to go to the light now? Are you ready to go home? No. It's hard. I want to stay here. I want to stay in her body. Would you like to help me? Help, have me help you today so you can feel what it feels like again? You've been sad for so long. Okay. Would you allow me to take that sadness from you? Sure. All right, so look, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to give me all of that sadness. Give me all of that sadness. Give it to me. You don't need to have that anymore. Give it all to me. Tell me when it's all out.
allow me to take that from you. I'm going to send it back home. Send it to the light. You ready? Can I take it? Take it. All right, I'm going to take that and send it up to the universe. Now, look in that space. There's a lot of space there now. Yes. What would you like to fill that with? Love. Let's put a big fire hose of love in there. Feel it coming in. Feel the light, yes. the oh. divine light coming in. Feel that love. Yes. Allow it yes. to fill every bit of your essence. Thank you. Fill it all up. Feel yourself oh, with so that beautiful, beautiful white light. Thank you. Which is love. Thank you so much. Allow yourself to be filled with it. And I'll touch your forehead so that you can seal that in there. What else do you feel? Peace. Beautiful. Let's put some peace in there. Lots of peace. So Luke, now that you have all of that love inside, what would you like to tell Lisi? You have it in you to protect yourself. Don't let them come in. All right. Alicia, what would you like to tell Luke? Thank you. Thank you for leaving. Mm -hmm. So you. I'm going to now ask for the, my warriors of the light. These are the ones that protect. And I, using my will, I'm calling them to help me with this. With this beautiful process of having, having Luke be taken to the light. I'd like all the warriors of the light, all these angels, to surround her now. And I'd like Archangel Michael to take Luke by the hand and escort him to the light. And Luke, as you leave, I want you to take every bit of essence that you leave inside of her. Take it with you. Feel all of that coming out of you, Alicia. And tell me what it looks like. Got a red ball of fire. All right, take that out. You can blow that fire out. Luke, take that fire out with you. All right, Luke. Mm hmm And Luke, as you reach the light, tell me what happens. It's beautiful. He's here with his arms open. Mm hmm I've done so wrong. I need just love right now. Mm -hmm. So ask the Creator now to beam that beautiful light into Alicia where you were and seal her with that light, that light of God. Seal her so that she feels completely whole. And now Luke, if you would help me, I'd like for you to call those that are standing, waiting, that we're waiting for your departure, waiting to take your place. I want you to call them now. Yes. Tell them to come with you. Tell them what it feels like to be embraced by the Creator again. And I'd like the angels, the warrior angels, to help with this. Encapsulate all of those fallen angels that yes. are waiting. Encapsulate them. Let them feel the love of the Creator. Tell me, Luke, what's happening? They're coming. Mm -hmm. How many are there? There's four. Mm -hmm. Are there any others around? Any of the ones that that sent them? Well, there's others. Mm -hmm. I'm telling them to come. He's oh. going to forgive them. All right, so tell them all to come. I'd like the, the warrior angels and the angels of the light, as you see them coming towards Alicia, I want you to encapsulate them in your light. Yes. Have them I'm feel. Getting them. They're mm -hmm. coming. All right. Tell me how many are coming. Oh, there's like 30. Mm -hmm. Keep there's so many that want to come back. Mm -hmm. Encapsulate them all and oh. have them come back to you. God's presence is good. How does that feel? Oh, so good. They're so happy to come back. Tell me how the how the homecoming is like. Oh, uh, God is embracing us. Mm -hmm. He's so forgiving. 
We're all kneeling and just asking for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. He said our sins have been paid. Mm -hmm. What does this God look like to you? Oh, he's beautiful. Yes. These piercing eyes that just look at you and so much love. Mm -hmm. He has a beard. My dad's there. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to ask this that says he's God why he appears in this form. Because I like that form. I've seen it before. Mm -hmm. And every time I see that picture, I think of him. Mm -hmm. And that's how I see him mm -hmm. and picture him. Ask him to show you his true form. It's so bright. Mm hmm I can't even make out his face because it's just so full of love. Mm -hmm. I feel his love and just his arms extending to just hug me. Mm -hmm. Have his true form show up. The more you look at it, have, have God show you. See white hair, mm -hmm. a white robe, hazel eyes, and this just face that's just like a grandfather, mm -hmm. like just love. I just the cane that is like just want to hug him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and so feel that inviting. embrace. Feel that embrace. So inviting. Mm -hmm. And you say that dad is there. What would dad like to tell Alicia today? I love you. You're my little princess. Mi niña chiquita. Mi bebita. Como te quise tanto, como te quiero. Un día nos veremos. Aquí vas a estar conmigo. No tengas miedo, hija mía. Yo siempre estoy contigo. Estoy no en cuerpo, pero en espíritu contigo. Julio, sí. Alicia tiene mucho miedo a que se le muera su mamá. <risa> Yo sé. ¿Qué consejo quiere decirle a ella hoy sobre su mamá? No tengas miedo, hija. Así como me sientes a mí. Vas a sentir a tu mamá. Es un dolor que vas a sentir. Pero ya, tú tienes tu vida. Tu mamá está sola. Ya está cansada. Déjala ir. Ya no quiere sufrir ella. Aquí es tan bonito. ¿Te acuerdas cuando eras niña que yo te hablaba del cielo? Y platicábamos que nos íbamos a ver junto al río. Ah, aquí voy a estar con tu mamá. Aquí vamos a estar esperándolos a todos. Yo la extraño tanto, hija. Yo la quiero tanto. Fue mi todo. Y ustedes también. Quiero tanto a mis hijos. Un día nos vamos a ver otra vez. Y otra vez voy a venir a la tierra y tú vas a venir conmigo. Voy a ser tu padre otra vez. Te quiero mucho, hija. Cuando tengas miedo, 
piensa en mí, yo estoy ahí contigo. Alicia, ¿quiere decirle algo a tu papá? Te quiero mucho, papá. Te extraño tanto. Te fuiste tan pronto. Yo no te quería que te fueras. Fue tan difícil sin ti, papá. ¿Quiere darle un abrazo a tu papá? Sí. Déjame ayudarte. Te voy a tomar las manos. Abrázalo ahí fuerte. Abrazo, papá. Te quiero mucho, papá. Pues de un padre tan bueno. Yo quiero que mis hijos tengan lo mismo que tuve yo. Gracias, papá, por todo lo que me hiciste. Gracias por siempre estar conmigo. Te extraño mucho, papá. Pero yo sé que estás conmigo. Yo sé, gracias, papá, por hablar conmigo. Recuérdame esa esperanza otra vez. Gracias. Ayúdame a no dudar ya más. Muy bien, gracias, Julio. Gracias. Let me speak with your higher self again. Yes. Would you tell Alicia why she's feeling so tired all the time? Unable to sleep, unable to focus. She's just thinking all the time. Mm -hmm. She doesn't stop thinking. What's causing that? Oh, she starts worrying about moving. She starts worrying about the kids or why the neighbor hasn't mowed their lawn. I mean, it's just silly stuff sometimes. And I tell her to stop. Mm -hmm. And she's just constantly going. And she starts thinking about if people at work like her or if she's doing a good job. And all oh, this is just going through her head. And what about, you know, if she's doing the right thing, raising her children? I mean, it's just numerous things. She needs just to relax. Mm -hmm. So can you put some of that relaxation yes. into her? And as you do that, I'll put my hand on her forehead and allow that to sink in. Allow that to sink in. Being relaxed, being in the moment, being at peace. Allow that to sink in. Have her feel that in her gut, how it feels to be totally at peace, totally aware of only the now. Allow her to feel that. So if I may, on her behalf, would you continue working on her during the night when she's sleeping? Yes. So I'll work she, on her. Very good. So that she could focus. And when she sleeps, to get fully rested. Yes. Very good. Very good. Would you do a body scan on her, please? She needs to cut back on salt. Mm -hmm. That's why her pressure's up. Ah. So salty food? Yes. She needs to watch what she eats. Mm -hmm. She sometimes just doesn't eat breakfast, and then she'll we'll skip lunch, and then she'll come and eat, like, all this stuff that she shouldn't be eating, and she mm -hmm. knows. Unhealthy food? Very unhealthy. Mm -hmm. What would you like to eat? have her eat more of? Just a balanced diet. She needs to eat her breakfast, her lunch, you know, not big portions, small portions. Mm -hmm. Is that why she's gained 30 pounds? Yes. Can you start working on her today to melt that? Yes. She needs to exercise. She knows. Mm -hmm. What kind of exercises would you recommend for her? Cardio. Mm -hmm. She needs to get back in the gym and just at least start walking. She'll feel so much better. Her back pain will help too. Mm -hmm. 
What's causing that back pain? She needs to get that checked. What is that? Can you focus in on that? There's a little tumor there. A little tumor? Yes, she's had a tumor in her kidney. Mm-hmm. She needs to get it rechecked. Now, would you check and see if she's had any lifetimes or she's had any damage in her back? She did. Mm-hmm. From the hitting. From the hitting? Yes. Is this her husband? Yes, he hit her with a board. Ah. Uh -huh. So it's caused that tumor, tumor then? Yes. Well, now that she knows that, that that was from that lifetime and not this lifetime, it doesn't need to remind her anymore, does it? No. She needs to let it go. All right. So once contract is cut, this contract is cut. So let's get that that tumor dissolved. We don't need that reminder anymore. The body was reminding her about about this. Yes. So let's dissolve that tumor. And I'm going to ask my archangels to bring in the non-physical physicians to work on her now. Whichever archangel wants to work on this, to bring in the physicians to work and remove that tumor. And tell me if she's feeling anything, any sensation. Just a little pressure. Mm hmm I feel better. Good. And as she sleeps, I'd like you to continue working and dissolving that. She doesn't need to have that bruise from that other lifetime anymore. No. Mm -hmm. Now we had talked to Luke. Are there any other spirits in her house that need to tell her anything? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's there? There's a Betty. Betty. Mm -hmm. Who is she? She used to live in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. She likes that house. She just thinks it's a homey house. Why has Betty not gone to the light? Oh, she likes it there. She likes that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. She's afraid to go to the light. She's a mean person. She's mean to animals. Mm -hmm. And she knows that she doesn't have any animals. So that's why she likes that house too. Ah, I see. Is that why she's afraid of going to the light? Because she was mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you allow Mick to connect with Betty so he can help her? Yes. All right, if the light would allow me to connect with Betty, let me speak with her today. Good afternoon, Betty. Hi. Betty, I understand that you haven't gone to the light yet. No. Why is that? Because I, I, I was mean to some dogs that I had. Mm -hmm. They so, got me mad. And why, why were you mean to them? Oh, because they didn't listen to me. Mm hmm And so you've lived without being able to go to the light just because of that? Well, I was mean to other animals, too. Oh. It wasn't only them. Why were you mean to them? I just didn't like them. Mm-hmm. Is there a reason for that? Oh, they just bark so much and just make so much noise and, and pooped and you have to clean it. And, mm -hmm. Oh, they were so dirty. I like that house. It's clean. Mm -hmm. She keeps it clean. Betty, there's another place that you can go to that's even cleaner. But what about if they don't accept me? What you about want, if those dogs are there? You want to find out? I don't know. I like this house. But this house is not really your home. Your home is back with the one that created you, with the light. Yes. Would you like to see what's there? Okay. All right. I'm going to have some Scared. angels. Okay. I'm going to have some angels escort you. Okay, good. I'm going to have these angels surround you, Betty, and I'm going to have you see what's up in the light. Okay. And tell me what's there. <sighs> There's puppies. Mm hmm. <laughs> but they're cute. Mm hmm. A little different, isn't it? Yeah. The angels are saying it's okay. It's okay when they poop. Mm hmm You don't have to clean it up. No. I can play with them. Mm hmm And they love. They love people. They mm. even love you, right? 
Yeah, they're coming up to me and licking my face. Oh, they're so cute. So, Betty, are you ready to release? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I'm sorry. Very good. Alicia, are you ready to let Betty go? Oh, yes. All right. Please so, get out of my house. So, Betty, we'll do this with love. Betty, take all of your essence from that house with you. I want you to clean all of the essence out. Don't leave anything behind. And I'm going to have the angels take you right in. And tell me when you're there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I'm calling on a divine light to fill that home with light. Everywhere where Betty was. Fill that home with love. Fill it with peace. So that anybody who lives there will feel happiness and tell me when that's done please it's done. wonderful wonderful Alicia had a question about her career and her move possible move can you tell her about her nursing career she needs to do what makes her happy. Mm -hmm. you know, she loves the ER. Go back to the ER. You know. Mm -hmm. She knows. She's just doubting herself again. What about her move to Colorado? Yes. Go. Go and just... You need to start your life. You'll be okay. Your family will be here. You need to go. You need to make your life. Stop worrying about everybody else. And her son even wants her to go. Yes. I've told her and told her and told her. Her gut tells her all the time, but she wants all these signs. So I keep giving her signs and she still doubts herself. What's one of the most one of the most significant signs you've given her? Every time she's doubting herself, I will send a car with Colorado plates or a <laughs> Been with the Colorado, something with Colorado, and she's always like, oh, well, maybe not. Stop doing that. You need to go. <laughs> she's just so doubtful. Is there anything else that I could have asked today that I didn't ask that you would like to tell her? She needs to be more sure of herself. Learn to love herself. You love yourself for who you are, and people love you. People love you. They like to be around you. You attract people. You're a great nurse. You're great with patience. Remember that. Stop doubting yourself so much. Listen to yourself. Listen to the gut. I'm talking to you all the time. Stop being scared. Live for the moment. Stop living in the past. Those are memories. Stop living in the future. Just live right now. Be nice. Very good. Thank you very much for the help you've given Alicia here today. I know she's You're really welcome. going to appreciate it. And I also want to thank all of the other entities that helped us today. I really appreciate that. And I'd like the light now to come in and fill her again. Fill her in that beautiful cocoon of light. Seal her so that she's totally protected. Seal all of her essence up. And while you enjoy that beautiful sensation, I'm going to count from one to five. And with each number, you'll be waking up more and more. And when I get to number five, you'll open your eyes and wake up very much in control of your mind and body, very happy about the experience, the happiest woman in the universe. Wide awake now, feeling wonderful all over. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Alpha. How did it go? Oh, my God. That was crazy. That was beautiful. Oh, man. It was like going everywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. How did the selenite feel? Light.
I felt like it was part of me. Like, I couldn't even feel it. <laughs> it was like, oh, so how so long heavy. did you feel that you were on this journey? Oh, my God. I felt I was on the journey for a long time. Yeah. Oh, felt like like a long journey. Yeah. Like, I needed to, like, go through all these stages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were out for about an hour and a half. Was I? Golly. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. I felt like it was longer. Like, I had just so much <laughs> stuff going on. Like, over here and over here and over here. And I just kept so looking everywhere. Yes. We, we dealt with everything. Yes. Oh, here. So, um, tell me more about this experience. What was the most significant part for you? What do you remember being the most? Just being able to learn that I'm strong. Mm -hmm. And just knowing that I came here to learn that lesson and it's okay, I've learned it. And that you're guided all the time. Not to be scared. Mm -hmm. You've been guided. I, somebody's always been there, but I've been like, you I have to asked. ask. Yes, they've been right there next to me. Mm -hmm. You didn't ask at all. At your, and your guide was pretty upset about that. Yes, I know. <laughs> I felt like, wow, okay. Yeah, that's good. Good. So, is this something that you would like to share with others? Oh, I don't know. It was beautiful. Oh, I don't know if I can share because it was probably like me crying and That's going crazy. And <laughs> <laughs> that means it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to share it. <laughs> I'll think about it. I have to look at it myself first, how I look. Oh, I don't want people to be like, oh, my God. Nobody knows who you are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't it's a story that's important. We've had some really beautiful breakthroughs there. Did you? You okay. had um, very vivid past lives. Very vivid. I mean, you were there. You knew names, you knew dates. Um, and it's all of these lives were the same that you're living now. Same people. Just re, it's always a rerun each time. Right. So that's what happens in these lives is that you keep going repeating. the same, repeating the same story. The same story yes. with the same people until you get it right. Yes. yes. And then we had the beautiful thing of, of Luke. The angel that was, the bad angel that was stuck in there like, right. get and, out. And he was the one that was scaring you. Yes. And he was kind of proud of it until he got tired of it. And now he's welcome home. And not only did we he get welcome home, but we had a lot of them. Yes. I, I saw that. I saw a group of them just mm -hmm. going. Like so, there's so many. Like yeah, it gives me chills just thinking about it. Right? <laughs> because it was like so many of them I could see going. So you helped a lot of people. Yeah. Not only did you help yourself coming here today, but you helped about 30 other people. I don't even feel that. So, I mean, I feel happy, yeah. but I don't feel like I helped anybody. Like, I felt I helped myself. But but you did. But whenever you help yourself, you're helping others. Yes. Too, okay? Because we're all one. Right. So you could see that that was yes. what was going on. So it was, a, and then you got to talk to your dad. Oh, I know. That was like. And he told you about your mom and how to release that fear. Yes. How do you feel now? I feel so time? much better. I feel like I can let her go. I know that she's, it's going to be her time. Yeah. And she's going to be okay. I was worried about, like, where is she going? Where is she going to be and at? And you know that your dad's waiting for her. Yes, him. yes. And I know where he, she's going to be at. I know exactly that we talked about the river. And, you know, it's a song that we always sang. So mm -hmm. I, I know exactly where they're at. So yeah. I know where to look. That was mm -hmm. my biggest problem. Mm -hmm. So the reason I, I asked about sharing is that so many people have the same problems, problems and the same concerns. And this session was absolutely gorgeous. It was, it was like... It flowed so beautifully, and we got to do the forgiveness exercise, which was so powerful. Not only did it clear up what you have in this lifetime, but we cleared up. Yes, oh, you past. can you can share it. I mean, it's like, <laughs> oh my god! I just people are gonna see me like okay. <laughs> crying and going like There's crazy. Wrong with crying <laughs> because as we talked about at the beginning, those are sentiments that have to come out. Right, tears are a way of you releasing that stress. And we're not talking about stress just from this lifetime. We're talking about stress from these women who were so abused. Yes. Yes. So abused. So not only have you helped yourself, but you've helped all of these other aspects of you that may have been living in other lifetimes, but even in parallel times. Right. Okay. Because we saw that we, you went from one lifetime to another without even. Yeah. I mean, it was making, just like. Without okay. even going through the. Uh, we saw one lifetime which started in the pilgrims right switch over to another one because it was the same 
It was the same soul living the same exact. Yes, thing I know. Again. I know. I saw the Victorian era. I saw the flapper era. Yes. I saw what's the. I was like, kept going. It was, I was the like, same. One, it was like the same one. Yes, living the same it was the same experience. person. Like. Oh my God! And you're very successful now, just as the woman who was the shop owner, and just like she moved away from her family I'm and starting. Yes. Yes. See how your your higher self showed you the life where you started exactly, over, Albert. and she I was, was like, so successful where she moved. Oh, so I'm blessed on that. She was so successful. Exactly, and that's so what, what I was like. I'm okay. So your higher self is showing you that lifetime to show you. Listen, sometimes you just got gotta let it go. And I'm very doubtful, where, <laughs> like he said. Like she but said. you just saw that, and you heard yes. her from her own voice saying, "I'm so glad. I'm so, I have so many friends here now. Yes. I'm so happy." Yes, she made the move because she felt the shame where she came from, and she had to start now. So this call to Colorado. It's the answer right there. It's, it's like, like your call was to California at that time. It was like now it's yes, Colorado. Like it's go Colorado. have make your life. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. I felt ashamed. I felt, and here I do because you know I had a child and yeah. all this stuff that went down. It was just so. It was shameful for me. Right, right. It was so hard because everybody was like, "Oh, so he had another kid." But you've you've lived shame in your lifetime. Yes. So. It's almost the same thing. And it was Different okay. Different circumstances. Yes. But it's almost the same thing. Being with a married man. And I was in love with him. And I'm yeah. like, wow. And yeah. this is way back then. Exactly. So, so it was like. You can see that it doesn't matter what year it is. It's the same stuff over and over again. This is. It just feels like you have no control of what you're saying. I'm like, you just. Like, How did it feel to, to speak with through your higher self? It felt amazing because I felt like. It was just coming out of my mouth, like, <laughs> why am I saying that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it was amazing how you just talk, and you you have no control. Like, once you're under, you're just like, it's just going. Mm -hmm. Whatever's popping in your head, I was just saying, mm -hmm. like, this is a year. This is what I'm wearing. This is what I'm doing. This is, uh -huh. yes. And everybody that you were talking to, I was like, oh, my God, they sound different. Like, I could tell their, their anger or mm -hmm. their sadness like that demon that I felt that was inside me that he portrayed himself as a demon I felt the sadness mm -hmm. it wasn't like, a demon at all no it was an angel that had fallen and he was just so sad and depressed right. I mean and I've been on medication for depression and it was because of this that you know he's just so depressed mm -hmm. that he was bringing me down like right. with him because right. he enjoyed seeing me depressed right. so it like, kind of wow. changes your outlook doesn't it? yes Yes, it was like changes wow. the way you, you think about what's what's going on in your body. Yes, because it's <laughs> like wow, I can't believe that, and in my house too, you know, mm -hmm, Betty. Yes, because I'm a clean person. <laughs> Get out of my house, and and <laughs> that may change the way you think about cleanliness too. About because, the children, because it was it was Betty. Betty's influence kind mm -hmm. of like that cantankerous. <gasps> yes, don't. <clears throat> yes, yes. And so he has a dog, and I don't want the dog. And yes. Exactly. So <laughs> she was the one afraid of the dog. So she may have been influencing since you're so telepathic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I was like. That you were picking up her vibes. Like, don't. Almost like unconsciously, don't get Betty upset. Don't bring that dog in because right. Betty's going to be. Yes, upset. because he has a dog. And I was like, no. I don't want my yard to mess up and you know and the kids making but mess think and about I was like, that. It was it was Betty. Yes. Betty it wasn't was even me and I was and sometimes I would think to myself, like, I can't be that mean. Why am I being like this? Yeah, but like, Betty was influencing yes. you. Even though she wasn't attached to you, she was attached to your home. Yes. Yes. It's so you much different. Her. Yeah. Cool. Wow, that is amazing. So let me disconnect you so we can say goodbye. Yes, I mean if you if other people can get help by this. I'm willing to share because I know that there's so much stuff going on out there that people don't know. Like, why am I going through this? What can help me? <laughs> All right, so we just had a really interesting session with yes, Alicia. We did. And uh, where are we? We're in uh, Dallas, Texas. We're in Dallas, and you are from? I'm from San Antonio. <laughs> you drove. Yes, you I drove. drove. You I drove, drove a long way to Dallas. Yes. So I flew. A, you drove. About, you flew I from flew Miami. As long as you did. <laughs> so we're here. We uh, we were just discussing about the fact that everything kind of fit together. It did. It did. <clears throat> from the beginning, all the way to my life now. From yeah. All the, the way puzzle pieces. From, yes. Like back from the 1800s that I was living. To even now. even even before that. Even before, because you came over like Pilgrim's time. Yes. Yes. So that started. You were very happy, and then. Yes, I was happen. a happy kid, and then and you all lost of a sudden it was like, and you Poof. lost your dad. Yes, so you have lost your dad over like, and over, over and, over and, over and over again. again. Yes, so that came out in the fact that abusive relationships. Yes, and 
you found Nathan in that life, and now yes. you found Nathan again in this yes. life. So it came all came back. <laughs> all came back. So these sessions are about putting the puzzle pieces together. We have no idea how they're going to be put together. Right. When I go into a session, I have no idea what it's going to be like. You have no idea. Right. It just all falls into place. Your higher self is the one doing it. Right, so right. I had no on. idea what was happening today. No, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> that was the interesting part that I was like, wow. Well, we're both in this together. So, you know, I put myself in trance with you, and we both go on this journey together. It was amazing. It was very amazing and very liberating from yeah. all that. Then. So as a nurse, seeing how this happens. Yes. How does that change the way you see things? It's a lot different. I, you know, before, you know, you see those patients and they come in with all these problems and you talk to them and you don't understand why or you don't believe in all this stuff. But now doing it, I'm able to maybe correlate what they've had before to what they are doing in the present. Mm -hmm. It all correlates with each, each, each lifetime. There's mm -hmm. something there. That they have to learn. We all come to learn stuff. So And even that thing in the kidney was interesting, wasn't it? Yes. You got hit. Yes. And it was almost like the the the, uh, the tumor was where right where I got hit. hit. Yes, with the board. so it was reminding you. Yes, because I had gone in and they had told me uh, a while back that I had a kidney when I was uh, a tumor when I was pregnant with my son, my last son. Mm -hmm. And then they said, hey, you know, it's not uh, cancerous. Don't worry about it. But recently, it has been hurting me. Like, why is it hurting me now more? Mm -hmm. So, so it'll be interesting it to see what happens now. Exactly. To go in now there and see. Now that you understand. Yes. And that your your guides are working with you. And one thing that you learned, too, is that you have to ask. Yes. You weren't so asking. I never asked. No, I just thought it was supposedly they're going to be there and I don't <laughs> have to ask. And they're just going to come and help me. But no, you But as we, as we were discussing, this is a free will planet. And yes. they just sit, sit on the sidelines until you call for them. Yes, they and do. Your guy, and your higher self was kind of upset, you know? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I've never asked. You know, they're like, uh, I'm right here. You just have to ask me because you do have free will. You know, everybody yeah. has free will. And until you ask and ask that person or, you know, pay, uh, people that have gone in the past, like my father, mm -hmm. ask him, I'm here for you. Right. And he's well, never Come and you. help me. He yes. never left you. He never has. And sometimes we feel alone, but they're there. How did it feel to be talking Oh, it him? was awesome. It was so great. I love talking to my dad and just feeling him right next to me was amazing. Like it was just so powerful to feel my dad. I love talking to him. I know he's not here in body, but in spirit he's always here with always. me. Always. And that makes me comfort. That gives me so much comfort. Too. And your mom will be there too. When yes. You don't have to worry. You know, yes. That was the biggest problem with me. Like how do I let go of my mom? Her leaving the cert. But she'll be there. Mm -hmm. All the time. Wonderful. Yeah. So do you, you recommend this, huh? Oh, definitely. <laughs> I recommend it to anybody, especially if you're having abusive relationships, because there's so many women out there that have been abused and they don't understand why. Or you feel so alone and you feel so ashamed that people are going to look at you different or you don't want to let go of that relationship because of your family. You know, they're ashamed. Shame. But you know what? Sometimes you have to let it go. You have to learn to just go into your a trance and be able to understand why you went through that and cut that contract, you know, definitely. That, that was powerful? Yes, yes, because it was just like, I was having this contract with these people over and over and over again. I was like, can y'all please leave? <laughs> no, they can't until you break the contract. So it was amazing to cut the contract and know that, you know, that's why I'm having to live this because I have to learn you know, to love myself and to yeah. let go. Let go of that. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you, Alba. Awesome. And uh, if you would like to book a session with me, go to albawyman.com. And uh, we'll see each other again soon. Bye. Bye.